here we are in the tropical milkweed uh, section of the gardens here at uh, the OSU Botanical Gardens. And uh, we have a slight infestation of milkweed aphids. Now, um, aphids are insects that have piercing sucking mouth parts. They, they do belong to the group uh, that we refer to as true bugs. Um, and they use those piercing sucking mouth parts to feed um, on the plant sap. So they're basically straw-like mouth parts, inserting those into the plant's uh, tissue, such as the leaves or the stems, and extracting that plant sap and feeding on them. Now, uh, aphids can be quite problematic from the standpoint that, again, they're, they're removing that plant sap. They can cause some, some physiological harm to the plant. You'll typically see it reacting in terms of uh, discoloration in the leaves um, or other affected plant tissue. You may even see some leaf cupping or curling as a result. Um, and if you look closely at that area where the damage is, you'll see those very tiny um, um, insects, those aphids, feeding um, usually in a, in a cluster, in a, in a, in a group. Um, aphids can get out of hand in a hurry. Um, the, the females can reproduce asexually, so they can basically make uh, exact clones of themselves, uh, and they can, uh, they're, they're, they're essentially baby-making factories, and they're um, laying those um, all about uh, behind them as they're feeding, and that population can seemingly get out of control overnight. Uh, so a few things that we can do about aphids. Um, uh, with, uh, with, with the aphid management, we can oftentimes just take a garden hose, and uh, aim that at the area of the plant that's infested, and we can simply wash them off the plant. Aphids are very soft-bodied insects. Um, they're not gonna be able to climb back up onto the plant once you've washed it, once they hit the ground. Um, also remember there are a lot of hungry mouths waiting for them um, underneath the, uh, uh, the plant on the, on the, uh, uh, on the floor of the uh, garden. Uh, things such as spiders and, uh, and, and ground beetles and rove beetles and the like. Uh, so they're not going to be very likely to reinfest that plant once you wash them off. Uh, if we're thinking chemical control options, um, I like to recommend some of the softer chemicals, um, such as insecticidal soaps and, in hort and horticultural oils. These act to uh, desiccate or to smother that aphid um, and, and kill it outright. Um, and they minimize harm uh, for some of our good guys out in the gardens. Once again, our, our pollinators and our predators and our parasites, the, the natural enemies. Um, there are other products we can use that are a little um, um, harder in nature. Um, they're they're a little riskier to use, uh, both for the, the applicator and as well as non-target organisms. Um, and they're um, available on, on the um, garden shelves as well. Uh, but, I, but, but I always recommend physical management by washing them off with water first followed up by uh, insecticidal soap application or a horticultural oil. Um, these will definitely work for managing your aphids regardless of the plant that's affected. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.